Welcome back to another episode of Project Ozone. So, last time, it was quite a little bit ago, I took a break over the weekend, it was my birthday, but last time we played, we were working on these wyvern armor, and I think we just need the leggings, correct? Yes. So let's take a look at this wyvern. We still have a wyvern core, but we need the leggings. So that was these Zavisio leggings, the core, some ingots, and this wyvern energy core. How close are we? Uh, leggings? Where did you go? Uh-oh. What did we do with our leggings? That's not a good sign. Um, bu -bu -bum. that's really not a good sign. That means we have to go through all of that annoying crafting, but that's okay. We can get to it when we need to. But we were looking at, it was just that wyvern energy core, right? Because we we're missing a whole lot of draconium. Well, between episodes on my break, I ended up going to the end where draconium is quite common in the asteroids and there was one right off the main island I went there and I set a uh, <laughs> I guess a destination for this charm of dislocation so now we can just jump back and forth from there and uh, got got a whole bunch of this I was just using the auto smell it was giving me about two or three each time and then also went to the mining world and got some of this draconium ore an interesting thing about this is there's actually a really good way of not just doubling or tripling but quadrupling it. Let's see, there's this way through mechanisms, I believe, right? Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's mechanism. But this gives you draconium shards, four of them, which through a whole lot of complicated stuff you can uh, get one ingot out of each of these. But there's also the induction smelter with cinnabar. And we have some cinnabar. Cinnabar. There you are. Oh, it disappeared. Good stack of that. We got that from uh, pulverizing the redstone. But magma cruis. Oh, no, that's right. It's back here. So we can toss this in there. Some of that. And some of this. Get rid of that. What is that? Slag? Yeah. And there we go, we're getting four ingots per one uh, draconium ore. So that's a pretty good trade-off. Look at that, we're already out of stack from not even a full stack. That's actually just about two stacks from a half a stack. This is a wonderful trade-off. So we can toss that back in there. And look up why I can't type today either. Wyvern. It would probably help if I looked at the keyboard. So, Wyvern Energy Core. Uh, just missing some redstone blocks. Hold on, gotta click that. Redstone. Uh, let's craft a hundred. Why not? So, Energy Core. That's the one. Boom. Oh, we're missing... Uh, draconium core. Now we're missing gold. That's just fine. Gold, let's make a hundred more. Are we still waiting on the redstone? We are. Let's just cancel that. And we can go back here. And there's a draconic core. So now we want an energy core. Can we do it? There we go. And now we just need the little bit more leggings. The wyvern leggings. Boom. Well, let me uh, craft up those leggings. I've done it, what is it, two or three times now? I mean, I don't know where they could be. There's, I really don't use chests anymore. Could probably put all this in our system. But yeah, let me craft those up really quick, and I'll bring you guys back for the wyvern leggings. 
All right, so that didn't take too long. We still had some leftover resources from last time. But now we can go Wyvern Leggings. And there we go. We have our full set of Wyvern armor. Oh, no. <laughs> I really should pay attention. <laughs> mm. It wasn't the leggings we were missing. It was the boots. Well, that's a little bit of a bummer. Boot, boot, T, T. Need the T. Yep, look, there's these VCO boots now. That should have been a big eye-opener. But anyways, we c I can bring you back for this crafting. Not terribly difficult. To oh, we need some more stars. Excuse me. Stars. That is such a nasty... Oh, wait. Is it diamonds? Diamond. I bet you it is. Grab a hundred of those. Oop, hey, give me the right one. There it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nope, just five. That's just fine. Wyvern. I mean, that was kind of a waste of draconium. But there are easy ways to get it. So there's that bad boy. And there's that one. And there we go. Our wyvern boots. I guess we have a spare set. Oh well. But there we go. We have our full set whoa, of wyvern armor. Look at that. We're we look like we're ready to go to battle. And that is what protection 3, 6, 8, and another 3. Not bad. I think there is stuff. Oh, that's right. It needs to be charged. Uh, control stats. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, it just pretty much says you feel even stronger and faster now that you have infused diamond legs with draconium. Uh, vastly improves your resistance. Draconium seems to give you a greater a greater what? Interesting. <laughs> it doesn't say what you're a greater about. But anyways, we don't have a way of charging that quite yet. So we're going to stick with our flight. And also found this out. It has creative flight. Well, sort of. I mean, you still kind of coast about. But, I mean, you can go up. You can go down. Um, hello, glitch. Yes. <laughs> Just a glitch. I bet you it says it has a whole bunch. Yeah, eight buckets of witch water. I call bullcrap. But anyways, let's get to our quest book. Okay, it was on our hot bar. And we can go in here. Seven quests. Um, what? Ascendance. Oh. <laughs> I guess we completed this. <laughs> so there's all the uh, ingots. The Accio ingot, Crucio, Imperio, Zavisios, so all that good stuff. And that was just make the armor to accompany it. So we can grab these really quick. Oh, that's so annoying. And then there's also these jetpacks that went towards the uh, Accio armor, the chest plate. So we can grab these. Oh, just get it over with. Okay. Oh, what are we missing? Uh, Wyvern Flux Capacitor. Let's take a look at that. I didn't realize there was a little bit more. So, Wyvern Flux Capacitor. Oh, that's easy enough. Just a Wyvern Core and some Wyvern Energy Cores. One, two... I guess it wasn't as easy as I thought. But these are simple enough to make. Let's just grab 17. Maybe we'll use them down the road. One, two, right, that should be all of that. And then we're going to need one of these. And there we go, our Wyvern Flux Capacitor. And we have a bunch of reward bags to go through. But anyways, that completes that quest. We get a full heart and our choice of a reward bag in no particular order. All right, let's get rid of some of this stuff. Uh, put that away, all that away that some exomite that came from the end I thought it was uh, this draconium ore but I was wrong uh, put that away all that 
Uh, we can put those in there for now until we find a way of charging it. And our flux capacitor. That holds 80 million RF. Wow, that is a overcharged battery. All right, so that opens up our inventory a little bit better. We can chomp down on this heart. It should be like eight or nine. Eight. Not bad. Oh, look at all these reward bags. Go away, digital miner. So we have the good, basic, greater, and epic. So let's switch these around. We have four basics to go through. Sulfur. Hey, why'd you give me the wrong one? All right, titanium sword. The techno glasses, redstone engine, and a filler. Moon turf and Mars turf. Charged porter something other, maybe. The speed belt. And the same one. Sorry about that. I had a tickle in my throat. But anyways, we can drop off all this fun stuff. Boom, boom. That one, that one, that one. Wipe and flip capacitor. Nope. And... What are we missing? That can go away. That one. <laughs> I don't even want to know what the speed belt looks like with this. Oh, the throat tickles are real. Alright, anyways. Draconiamonic armor. I think that was just supposed to be draconic armor. Because that is an interesting way of spelling it out. So, draconi or draconic armor no <laughs> all right well here it is right here uh oh so this might be a little out of reach because it takes these awakened draconium ingots and i don't quite remember the uh what is it the ceremony no that's not it the ritual i guess to get this i think it's you take a draconium block or four of them and charge them maybe how do you get this yeah it doesn't even say does it is there a little booklet or what it's a tablet let's see where is there you are draconic evolution information tablet oh thank you knowledge to the max let's take a look at this uh everything you need to know in one place um, is there an awake? Oh my gosh. Okay, we're just going to use this scroll. Here we go. You have been studying the interactions of draconium, various metals. It is wither resistant. Okay. That is severely unhelpful. Wait a minute. See Dragon Heart's page for detail. Alright, let's find the Dragon Heart. Dropped by Ender Dragon and Draconic Dragon. It is your belief that is that this is immensely powerful item may hold the key to unlocking the true power of Draconium using an ancient ritual known as Ritual of Awakening. Drop a Dragon Heart on the ground and activate with a Kaboom. Drop 4 to 16 Draconic Cores depending on how many charged, dra or charged Draconium blocks you get or you use. A few seconds after its initial activation, it will draw all nearby items towards it. Anything that is not a Draconic Core will be destroyed. Now quickly place 1 to 4 depending on how many cores you dropped. I guess the best option would be 16 Draconic Cores just because why waste a heart on one? You will know it's working when you see the heart's energy targeting the charged Draconium blocks. Now stand back and watch the magic happen. You can only do this ritual once per heart. And we only have one heart so that is going to be all in one kaboom. Let's see, charge to Kronenbach, use the Ritual of Draconic Resurrection and the Ritual of Awakening, place a Draconic block in a charging device. Oh, used in those. Draconic block in a charging device and 100 million RF later, you have a <laughs> Draconium, charged Draconium block. Okay, so it looks like we are going to have to look into some sort of charging power. And I think Draconic Evolution has a good one. Draconic. Right? It has this guy. Particle Generator. <laughs> Enchantment Table. Three cores. So let's look at this guy. 
Are we close? Oh, we actually are close. How hard are these to go? I want to avoid going to the end if at all possible. Really? Gold. Craft me a hundred, please. Oh, hey, come back here. You. Did I get you? Yes. One, two, three, four. There we go. Now we'll get the, uh, I forgot what it's called already. But we can look it up right like this. Hey, what the? I want that one. Thank you. Particle generator. Get. Got. Good. Gonna need an enchanting table. Easy enough. And look at that. <laughs> Energy infuser. And now we just need what are four of these, right? One, two, three, four. Yeah, you can use a uh, oh, what are they called? Uh, energetic infuser from thermal expansion. You can use capacitors from immersive engineering, but those take forever. But if you already have a pretty buffed up power supply that you can tap into. And I think I could just set this right on top. <laughs> and that is outputting at 32,000 RF a tick. Beautiful. Right? We got that maxed out? Yes. And that's this will also pull from these uh, other two. Look at that. Total buffer filled. So we'll put one in there. Oh, this is taking forever. I thought these were faster. It lied to me. Well, anyways, let's uh come back later to check this. It's still chunk loaded, right? Uh, where we go? Hey, oh, you're not the right thing. <laughs> That's the one I want. And ME interface is already selected. Let's go for a quick teleport. Not so quick teleport. All right, so let's look at a capacitor. Oh, ha. <laughs> We already have one made. Well, what if we want a top tier vibrant capacitor? There's these vibrant alloys. What kind of alloys do we have? Alloy. Crap, we have vibrant. Let's grab 20 of those. Start. Alloy. No, we want vibrant capacitor. Uh, can we actually do this? No. Alright, let's look at these octatic capacitors. Don't have everything we need yet. Uh, double? Really? What was that? It was, uh, da -da 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 -da. energized? What are, what are these things called? Oh, this is gonna be the death of me. Capacitor. No, let's just uh, let's make a couple of those just for fun. Uh, da -da -da, we want the vibrant. So vibrant alloy comes from. So that's what we want. The energetic, not energized. So energetic. How do we make you without pulverizing? Glowstone, gold, and redstone. Let me get some stuff together and I'll bring you guys back when we have those capacity. Alright, so this is just a little bit later, but we have what is this six vibrant capacitor banks. And these hold thirty thousand or yeah, thirty thirty million RF. So that's enough to do three of these. And I already popped one in to test it out. But we can do four of these at a time. Oh, okay, maybe not four. I guess one has to complete. But this is pretty quick. I don't know which one exactly is faster. I mean, it almost looks like they're going up at the same speed. So yeah, we'll wait for these to charge. And let's see. The tablet says, using the ritual, blah, 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 blah. Let's go back to the dragon heart. So we're going to drop 4 to 16 draconic cores. So we're going to need 16 draconic cores. 
Uh, da da, four per thing, a few seconds. Uh, sorry, we have to blow up the heart. Now quickly place one to four. All right, so that shouldn't be too hard. We just gotta wait for these to finish. And let's go back to our in interface and get everything else we need. Come on. There we go. So let's look at Draconic. What is that? Seven cores. So we're going to need nine more. Draconic. Wyvern core. Nope. What? Alright. Draconic. Core. Alright. So we can do one, two, three, four, five. How many can we make? Six. So that gets us close. Oh, we have more gold right here. Two, three. So there's 16. We're gonna need a TNT. Or not. TNT. We'll grab that. How about a lever? Lever, lever. Same thing, different name. And we're gonna need a And that should be everything we need. So let's head back to the mining world. Uh oh. Come on, work with me. There you go. We still have plenty of fuel in our dislocator thingy, Majigger. Alright, let's head over here. Whoa. Sp <laughs> Sprinting is pretty interesting in that. Alright, so this is definitely faster. Oh, that's because this is out. <laughs> it was taking more power than it could produce. So we can drop that one in there. And I guess I'll bring you guys back when this is fully done. And we'll go on from there. Alright, so I figured out why it wasn't going as fast as I thought it should be. Was we were only putting in... <coughs> excuse me. Uh, 32,000 RF through one side. So connected four more and that is 32 times five places it's touching so it gets the power a lot faster because this internal storage disappears really quick but let's see I think so we got that the heart the lever and the blocks all ready to go I've never done this ritual so let's see how this goes Let's actually put the TNT down. Let's see. We just drop it like that. Uh-oh. I think we need to remove our ring of magnetization. Yeah, there it goes. So now we're going to want to drop 16 of those. All right. Now, I hope this is... Yeah, there we go. And it is reaching all those. They are doing what they need to do that is interesting hello that was a bit shocking but there we go we have oh I hope okay good auto smelt doesn't do anything to these blocks but there we go we have four awakened draconium blocks now that's not enough to make <laughs> I mean maybe one piece of that armor but well let's go I'll, re I'll fix that later let's head back to the base and there is another way of doing this let's take a quick sleep hey come on got it so weird walking or when we go back to our base our point of view is way different and walking is significantly <coughs> excuse me it feels like we're not going that fast but when we sprint look at this it's like we're on the front seat of a NASCAR but anyways horrible reference uh, is it yeah see we need a lot of draconic or awakened draconium because I think these take it too yeah so there's something forget what it is but animation there we go it's this guy wand of animation 
Let's see, what is this? Mana infused ingot, ender crystal. How hard is that? Item fabricator, easy enough. Mana infused ingot. God only knows what we get this from. Let's see. Oh, I think this is a. Uh, I'm gonna have to do a little bit of research, but I think you get <coughs> this uh, mana infused block by pouring essence of mana over. I think it's silver blocks, and then a soul crystal, which don't know where that comes from. Let's see. Soul crystal. Soul fragment. Uh, I think you get it from stabbing yourself from this or right clicking. Hold on, specter iron. Why do I feel like we have this already? Specter sword. Specter key. Okay, where's the iron? I might be wrong. One, two. Let's just try it out really quick. Really? No sticks? Oh, bull crap, we don't have sticks. Wait, was it like this? How did we make that? Specter Sword. Oh, it's an obsidian rod. Oh my god, really? Alright, let me get that really quick. Alright, so we had some obsidian still in our uh, big black thingy over here. What is this thing called? Smeltery. God, my memory is shot. And, okay, that's not it. There's a certain thing you can do. I think it has to do with uh, watering can. Now, I could be completely wrong with this. That's how you get a soul fragment. Okay, that's the etheric sword. So that's not the same thing. So, soul crystal. Let me do some research really quick, because I have no idea about this, and I don't want to be talking out my ass, pardon my language, but <laughs> I have no idea how to get this, so give me one minute. Alright, so just as I feared, the, uh, what was that called? The soul crystal is part of the Erebus mod, which... I'm not sure about the pronunciation of that, but that is through the another aspect, which first we're going to have to go to the twilight and finish off, get a torchberry and a raven's feather. I don't know why another star is part of that, but we'll get that and it unlocks this quest, even though <laughs> we can always skip ahead, but I guess for this one we'll go in order, but we need to go to Erebus, I guess. And there's a uh, antlion overlord. And it is strongly recommended that you are equipped for this boss fight. I think we'll be just fine. We'll take our overpowered crossbow and everything. But that is going to have to be next episode. Because this one is drawing to an end. So next episode we're going to be going on an adventure checking out more dimensions and seeing what else this mod pack has to offer but for now thank you for watching leave a like leave a comment and i will see you guys later